Going over the trading system results for Friday, October the 7th in our new stock index portfolio. We've transitioned from the 26 portfolio to the 20 portfolio today. These are the hypothetical results. It's a big day shorting the market, 91.65, trading one E-mini now in the 200K portfolio and three micros. That's what we recommended. We did not actually trade this live today. I did not get it set up in time. It's one of those scenarios where I've been working on it, working on it. It was up late, updating the files, trying to get it in the VPS, turning on all the automation for all the, all the accounts and strategies and the market opened and it moved quickly. We usually have a little bit more time uh, when we see an opportunity to turn on a portfolio. It's in a draw. We get a drawdown alert. Uh, this is a new portfolio. It had a drawdown alert. It was a Friday. It was an ideal day to trade. We used to have a little more time to get things set up, but this thing went went uh, in our direction quickly without us. And so I know some of you. Uh, I sent the files out and then tried to set up on my side. So some of you got those got these trades today. But uh, I did not get the trades today. So right now, uh, this is is in a 91.65 run up from today, and so that will only have it in a about a 6k or 8k drawdown. And so I'm going to wait to get in on this now since I missed it today. Mondays are choppy, so I'm going to skip Monday and see if there's some chop. Maybe maybe wait for another 5 to 7k drawdown from here and get in. When it's uh, about a um, at least 12 to 15k from its worst case drawdown, so right now it's about 8k from its worst case drawdown. Three micros is um, you can't trade two and a half micros, so um, and you can change the position sizing on this according to your risk tolerance. But we're trading less strategies, and so we're not trading strategies at night. And so um, want to work into the E minis to get better fills. And let's go to the trades on the day, big short trades. Um, I thought this mark, I thought the NASDAQ should have traded lower. I know that um, it, it did trade low, but um, let's look at the let's look at the overall week. Tick wave had a good week. Um, one of the strategies I consider removing, but kept. And so tick let's look at the NASDAQ analysis first, and then we'll go over the trades. Um, but the week started here, the quarter and the week started here. And the market did this Monday, and then Tuesday gap up, pull back Wednesday rally, and then Thursday. And then the whole premise was based on the market's oversold from a week, September, and the Fed's going to pivot because the Fed is here to support the market. And the Fed has come out all week saying that, no, we're not here to um, – well, basically, we have a long way to go to fight inflation, and there is no financial market instability. The market – the Wall Street, the bulls were saying the Fed has to pivot or the markets will become unstable. And uh, Fed has said, we see no signs of instability. So um, then the jobs report was strong today, which supports continued rate hikes. And so the economy is strong and the stock market is coming back down. The stock market got way ahead of the economy. And when the uh, stock market was up uh, ahead of the economy, the bulls said, it's normal the market can go ahead of the economy and then the economy lagged and now the economy is strong. Now the stock market is coming back towards the economy and the bulls don't like it so much but um, that's the way it works and um, so that's the uh, analysis. I thought it should have traded below the weak lows. If you take a look at this, this rally was basically based on another false premise. It came back here on June 16th. Fed's going to pivot. So every time it gets down here, Fed's going to pivot. Fed said, no, we're not going to pivot. So the bulls were wrong. The bulls were wrong, but they closed higher on the week. So a little bit higher on the week. It's good to be wrong, I guess, and still make money. If you bought it down here at the open uh, on Monday and sell it on the close on Friday, your thesis is wrong, um, dead wrong, really, and you should have lost, but you still made money. And so that's one of the reasons why I thought the market should have traded lower because the because the uh, the thesis for which this rally existed proved to be wrong. So I think the market should have traded down this week below these lows, but at least below 10.9, somewhere between 10.9 and 10.7 on the NASDAQ. But um, we had a little bit of a prop up at the end of the day. Um, then it started to sell and then bounced right back. So um, you can see that um, the trend is down. So it wasn't propped up, but the, it slowed down. The trend slowed down, and at this time right here at um, 15.10 Eastern Time, 
It's still at the same place as it was at 12.45, sold, and then bounced back. And so a little bit of propping up. Still a strong downtrend, some nice shorts today as so we celebrate that. Uh, disappointed to have missed these trades, but glad that uh, to see the short side working a little better than it has been. The new tick reversal 2023, I still will make a video on that. Gap continuation 2019. A few of the strategies that we removed were profitable today. So the figure, 60-minute um, breakout short and gap continuation 2020, we removed those. Um, EVP1 down on the day, tick pulse a little bit. The stop loss is a little bit too tight. Um, Cover 3, 28.75. Um, momentum reversal took the long trade, stopped out. VTNQ took the short trade. Those are the trades on the NASDAQ. S&P did have both signals were losers. Cover 3, tight stop here, stopped out. Um, momentum reversal took the long trade here, stopped out. And so those are, those are the trades for Friday, October the 7th. As we go into the weekend, it's good to have a new portfolio set up. It's a work in progress, and if you're a subscriber, you continue to get those updates. But I have some other things I want to work on, some other strategies, and more information on the new Tick Reversal 2023 as well. Uh, putting these portfolios together is a lot of work, as you can imagine. And so coordinating this many strategies with all my subscribers, it's good to have this out there. I personally will trade Robot 2022. Um, uh, we had... It's eighth loser in a row. We took the trade on the live trade yesterday. We took this and lost, and we were hoping to get in today on the portfolio. We did not. So we'll continue to take robot trades. It has eight lo eighth loser in a row, so it's due for a winner. Um, and so um, we'll see if robot is possibly get a uh, rally again on Monday. But typically Mondays are choppy. So if robot tries to run up here and, and opens up in this range right here and tries to run up and close this gap, Again, it's possible it could do that. Anything could happen in this market. Um, you know, it could be a big trade. The long side could still be a big trade here, even though I think we're due for some more downside. Um, so, um, yeah, I, I will continue to have these updates. Let me know if you have any questions on the new portfolio. It's, uh, it's good to see the short signals working on Friday, October the 7th, 2020. Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. We are real money traders. We share our winning streaks. We share our losing streaks, as well as market updates, strategies, and coding tips.